Our next guest was one of the members of one of the biggest pop groups of all time. Yeah. Now she's back starring in a reality show about her return to music. Yep, she's taking control of her own destiny. Here to talk about the new season of R&B Divas Atlanta and her time as a member of Destiny's Child is singer Latavia Robertson. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hey. 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 Thank you. As well, you do, you do too. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. So do you. Okay, I get some love. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shannon's a very lucky man. Yes. Yes. All these beautiful women. Yes. <laughs> so so you have to tell us about this new season. You're one of the new cast members to R&B Divas am, Atlanta. So why did you decide to sign on for the show? You know, the, the opportunity presented itself when I was pregnant um, last year, and um, I didn't feel like it was a good time mm -hmm. then, but shortly after I gave birth to my daughter, um, it came back around again, and I said, okay, well, God, you must be telling me something. Okay, let's do this, and I dove in. Hit first. Now, Kelly Price just talked to us about her experience. Okay. What's your experience been like? You know, my experience has been very interesting. It's been something that I'm like, okay, reality TV is different. It was a brave mm. experience for me. Okay. Um, scheduling was very, very interesting, especially with me being a new mother. Yeah. But I was actually fortunate to be on this cast okay. with these women who've been through things and they've experienced things in the music industry like I have and you know but we all have six different opinions <laughs> you know and all of that stuff so it can definitely make for some interesting TV just let me say that. Oh. What's it like having the cameras follow you around it's, and well, document you know, your every move? Well you know I've been on the camera since I was like eight years old, That's you true. know, there was a bit of a hiatus for me, but you know, it came to me very naturally because I had been there, done that before. So it was interesting and at times just like, oh my gosh, can I get a minute? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what have you enjoyed most about being on reality TV and what have you disliked the most? I've enjoyed for sure being with um, one of my very good friends in this industry, um, Mila from 702. Oh, yeah. um, we've been friends for umpteen years and this cast of women, it even though there have been ups and downs, of course, like I said, we're six different women with six different personalities, yeah. but I've learned a lot from the ladies. You know, when you have those uncomfortable moments where you have to discuss things, of course, that can never be comfortable, mm -hmm. but, you know, the only thing that I disliked the most was really being so tired because my daughter kept me up a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, a new mother and the show, wow. Yes. How have you been juggling motherhood and your career? God. God. <laughs> you look up to the heavens. Uh, <laughs> yes, right. I have to. There's nowhere else to look but up. Oh <laughs> it's very demanding. Yes, mm -hmm. very. All right, so now we have to talk about Destiny's Child. Do we have to? Yes, because everybody <laughs> loved you from the group. They loved what you brought yeah. to it. And you guys were a, a huge phenomenon. Did you have any idea the group was going to be so huge? You know, in, in, in your mind, of course, you're like, mm -hmm. that's what we prayed for. That's what we sat around and we rehearsed so hard for. That was the, the main goal. But to actually see how quick the success happened, it was, it was truly amazing. And I'm very humbled and I'm so very grateful for my whole experience mm -hmm. in, in, in all of it. When did you realize that you all had made it big? Was there a moment when you looked at each other and said, wow, this is really happening. That's our face on the billboard. That's our song on the charts. Every single time that happens, uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And then when you start to see your, your record sales and things like that and the acceptance of, of all of the, the supporters, it was just, it was amazing. And like to be able to do that with your, your friends that you actually grew up with, it was, it, was, it was quite an amazing journey for me. You know, there's so many girl groups that have come and gone. What do you think the key to your success was? What made you all a, a group that actually made it as opposed to all the other ones that fell by the wayside? We, you know, we, we rehearsed very hard mm -hmm. and um, we played together, we worked together. We prayed together. Mm. We ate together. We were, you know, we were a family, and I think that that played a big, a big role in it. And we really, really, really had genuine love yeah. for one another. Mm -hmm. But eventually, you and Latoya left the group, unfortunately, because we loved you so much there. And there's been a lot of rumors swirling about what exactly happened. Right. So for the last time, we're going to let you set the record straight. <laughs> what exactly happened? Well, you know, I just I, I, I think that it would be insane to leave Destiny's Child. Um, so that's um, not, we were replaced. And, um, and is it, it was, true you found out when you looked at a music video and saw when, that you weren't when, in it? When Say My Name aired um, on, on, on uh, world premiered on BET is when we realized, okay, 
we're not in the in the group anymore. But everything was strictly with management. It had nothing to do with with the girls as far from you know my reality of everything that happened. My issues were always with management. Mm. So and that was Matthew Knowles, yes. Beyonce's mm. father. Correct. So, so what's your relationship like yeah. with the former members, with Beyonce yeah. and Kelly? I, I run into Beyonce. It was the utmost amount of love. Mm -hmm. I, I, she's one, she's my shero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Kelly and I have spoken. It's been it was great for us to talk. Latoya came to my baby shower. Mm -hmm. She was she came um, to the hospital after I gave birth. To my daughter, I got a chance to meet Michelle. It was great. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, it's it's cool. There, there's nothing but love. As far for me, there's mm -hmm. love. That's and really then, good to hear, yeah. actually. Yeah. Because yeah. after the group, you took a little break, and I then did. you also have been very open about your battling issues with alcohol. Yes. What do you think led to that? Was it all the fame and the pressure on you and the breakup of the group? What was it? Exactly? You know what? Actually, people would probably be surprised that was not um, what led to it. Mm -hmm. After the group, you know, this was in my early 20s um, for I mean, set that record straight. Mm -hmm. um, this was in my early 20s and after the group, I had a lot of time to like be to myself and I was living in my head a little bit and a lot of issues from my childhood arose um, and primarily me being molested as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to self-soothe pain and I I chose to abuse alcohol. Wow. But I got treatment. That? I got treatment and um, I got, you know, counseling and mm -hmm. I you know, a lot of times they say it's not what you're eating, it's what's eating you. Mm -hmm. And I realized that that was the problem and it really wasn't that. So, I think that it was the most wonderful thing that I could have ever done. I love this person mm -hmm. that I see when I look in the mirror and actually me going through that is what actually led me to start writing my book. So, it's been great for me. Okay, right. so I'm hearing a lot about this book. <laughs> when can we read it? When is it coming out? Right now, mm -hmm. I am. Of course, I thought that I was finished and then I got pregnant and then I had a baby. So, of course, I couldn't end it there. I had, had to write to some so much more. more. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so right now I'm looking for the perfect publishing home because my mm -hmm. book is my baby. I call it, um, it's not just a memoir to me, it's it's my love letter. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that it's very important. I don't think that, and it's, it's my truth, it's my reality. It's my reality and truth about what I experienced during Destiny's Child. It's my truth and my reality about what I, I've been through on this hiatus. And I want it to be that transparent and I wanted people to understand because I think it's important. And I don't think that I went through any of that for myself. Mm. I think that I went through that for the next young lady or the next person that thinks that they can't deal with um, sexual abuse and they can't mm. deal with alcoholism, they can't deal with those kind of things. So I think that that was God setting me up to be able to tell my testimony. So it's not about me. Mm. Well, we're looking forward to reading all the chapters yes. Yes. of your life. <laughs> and please come back when the book I is out. I definitely will. Oh, I right. sure will. Well, thank and you until so then, much. we'll be checking you out on RB Divas Absolutely. Atlanta. Absolutely. Please do. Thank you so very much. Thank, thank you. you. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.